Welcome to Woggle Guide. In this guide, I'll share with you how to quickly add a website link to an email in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. I'll quickly open a new email window by clicking on the large compose button in the top left of the inbox. And in the window that appears, I'll add my friend's email address and give this email a title. If I then click into the body of the email, I'll type a quick message I want to send to my friend. Now let's say I want to add a link to this new Google website in the email. I can do this in two ways. The first way is to create a separate link at the bottom of the email. To do that, I'll move my mouse to the toolbar at the very bottom of the email next to the send button. There's a number of options shown here, but the one we're interested in is this odd looking symbol. As I move my mouse over it, you'll see it's described as insert link. Let's click on it once. A new pop-up window is then displayed called edit link. It firstly asks you to add the text you want to show in the email. This isn't the link to the website, it's the text that will be shown to your friend in the email that they can click to go straight to the website. So try to make it relevant to the link you're adding. I'll add Google website. The web address option is already selected. So I just need to add in the link for the website. I'm typing it in in this example, but you can copy and paste in a web link from the website if you have access to it. Before we close this pop-up, you should check that the web address you've entered is working and valid. To do that, you can click on the handy test this link option shown below the web address you've entered, and that should open the web page you've just added. If it doesn't, check what you've entered for the web address, and if you're unsure, open the web page you want to add to that email in your own web browser, and copy the link that's shown. Returning to Gmail, I can confirm that link by clicking on the large blue OK button, and you'll see a link has been added to the email. At the moment, you can click on this link directly. Only the people who receive the email can do that. But if you want to double check it's right, you can move your mouse over this link and you'll see that options are shown to visit the web page or even edit or remove the link. Let's now move on to the second way to add a link to an email. In this case, I'll add the link by using some of the email text I've already typed. I can do this by selecting a small portion of the email. I'm going to select the word Google and I can do that by moving my mouse to it and if I then click and hold my left mouse button, you'll see I can slowly drag my mouse pointer over that word until it is completely selected. If I then release my left mouse button, the text stays selected. Having done that, I can now add a link to a website by moving to the toolbar at the bottom of the email and clicking on the add a link option I chose earlier. The same pop-up window appears but this time you'll see that the text for the link has already been added using the text we selected. As before, I'll quickly add the website link and I'll test it again just to make sure it is working as expected. Once I'm happy with that, I'll click on the large blue OK button to confirm it. This time you'll see the link has been added to the text we selected. Let's now send this email off by clicking the large blue send button. And if we pop into the inbox of the person who receives the email, you can see that if I click into it, both links are shown. And if I click on any one of those links in the mail, that will open the Google website as expected. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.